Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for all your great comments from the recent shows, especially Quail down in Carmel by the Sea. That was a wonderful event. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you did too. And it was terrific. I had a great time with George traveling down there and also meeting Phil, who has that incredible Dunstall 810 that he bought new from Paul Dunstall. So hold tight on that one, by the way. Phil is actually local. He lives here in the Portland area. So we might be seeing a little bit more from Phil and hearing more about that amazing story. And then just recently at the OVM, the Oregon Vintage Motorcyclists Show in Corvallis here in Oregon again. That's their annual event. It was a little lighter than previous years, but I think the weather had a part to play in that. But just seeing those lovely old British singles was terrific. I really enjoyed it. Well, talking about British singles, and that's not me, by the way, that's this AJS. Let's get back to the AJS project and give it an oil change. And I'm going to go through and lubricate all the points on this bike. I hope you'll enjoy it. I'll speak to you again soon. This is a very simple job. We're just going to start off by draining the oil out of this oil tank here. Yeah, it looks like it's wet sumped because the oil's all the way at the bottom of the oil tank. We're going to start by removing the filter. Ooh, and that's a little dirty. Oh yeah, and now I'm just going to drain the oil out of the oil tank. There wasn't much oil in there, so we'll just let that drain out. I did think about cleaning this old oil filter for a minute and then changed my mind. It's actually ripped there and it's in a, a bad state and it's also rock hard as well. So I just bought this new oil filter here. It wasn't very expensive. So I'm just going to immerse it in oil first of all, just to prime that essentially before I put it into the bike.
and I'll top this up later once the bike's running. The oil looks fine in there, so I'm just going to remove this level plug and then top it up with fresh oil until it starts coming out of this level plug and then we'll put the plug back in. Just gonna check how much oil we have it here in the primary case, this oil bath system. Come on. Oh yeah. There's plenty. Looks like it's overfilled actually, because it's pouring out. So I'm just gonna let that settle using this as essentially the level plug and then I'll refit it. Before I put the fuel tank back on the bike, I'm just going to inspect these taps. Uh, they look a little loose and they may need to be rebuilt, so plus they're 
facing in odd directions as well. So I'll take these off and disassemble them and, and see if they need to be rebuilt. Well, it's good to see they have a screen filter on them, on that one anyway. They just look a little dirty. I'll give these a thorough clean as well. Just a lot of build up on them. I'm assuming these are the original Ewarts. Yeah, those cork seals have perished. Well, this one has, it's actually, I think, split. Fortunately, Vince had bought a packet of new corks. So I'll fit these. Clean these first and then I'll fit the new cork seals. I may just cut these off. Oh, no, they're coming. Yeah, that one just broke. Great, there they are, they've just come out and they look great. They look like brand new actually. So I'll reassemble these, fit these new corks and just make sure that this tap, this plunger mechanism works just fine before I refit them on the tank. Okay, that's the petrol taps fitted again. The action's a little stiff because of those new corks, but it should, it should loosen off over time, but they're better than what they were. So I'm just going to switch gears and start looking at some of the electrics right now while I wait for some parts to arrive. I did test this battery with my friend Jeff and it's completely dead, it's gone. So I bought a brand new battery, I just got the same model. It's a 6 volt battery, I got this because it's exactly the same as the one that I took out. And then this is the original, I think, battery box. This is the Lucas King of the Road battery box. I'm not sure if it's been hollowed out or it's just an original box but real substantial and what I have noticed as well is when I took this one out is um, it's a super tight fit in there so once it goes in there it kind of sticks in there so I think what I'll do is just put some webbing in there so that it can be pulled out afterwards more easily like a basically a strap and then you know you can pull that out like this afterwards and I'll just sort of kind of lay it on the top before I put the lid on Hmm, wow. 
That looks okay. I suspect it's the switch that's the problem now that I've confirmed that all the bulbs are okay. Well, that's great. It turned out to be a loose connection underneath this switch as well. It actually looked like it was more like a, a corrosion that had built up. And so I just kind of scraped it with a pick tool and uh, it started working right away. It's a, a bit dodgy, the switch, but it works. Once it's on, it seems to work. I tightened everything up as well. Let's just check it at the back. Terrific, that's another job done.